Welcome to module 1 for PE4 for the game basketball. The module is entitled Keeping the Ball, Knowing the Basics. And here's our intended learning outcomes. Same with the intended learning outcomes posted in our VLE. And what is basketball? Actually, basketball is the game played and loved by Filipinos. And even in the remotest barangay in the Philippines, you can find basketball court of different sizes and of different materials. And basketball is a game played between two teams of five players in which goals are scored by throwing a ball through a netted hoop fixed above each end of the court. And how did the game started? Who invented it? And what are the materials or equipments they used before? Basketball was invented by James Nye Smith in the Springfield, Massachusetts. The date was December 21, 1891. And as the story goes, Nye Smith was asked to come up with an indoor game that offered fewer injuries than classic American gridiron football. He came up with a 9-on-9 -nine game that involved shooting a ball into a peach basket. And why basketball has hole in its basket? Nye Smith wrote the basic rules and nailed a peach basket into an elevated track. Nye Smith initially set up the peach basket with its bottom intact, which meant that the ball had to be retrieved manually after each basket or point scored. This quickly proved to be tedious, so he think of an innovation by removing the bottom of the basket to allow the balls to be poked out with a long dowel after each scored basket. The first ball. Basketball was originally played with a soccer ball. These round balls from the association football were made at that time. And as you can see, there were laces in this ball. These laces could cause bounce passes and dribbling to be unpredictable. Eventually, a lace-free ball construction method was invented and this changed to the game indoors by Nye Smith. The first ball made specifically for basketball were brown, and it was only in the late 1950s that Tony Henkel, searching for a ball that would be more visible to players and spectators alike, he introduced the orange ball that is now in common use. Dribbling was not part of the original game except for the bounce pass to teammates. Passing the ball was the primary means of ball movement. And how does basketball got its name? In the name of Frank Mahan, or Frank Mahan, one of the players from the original first game, approached Nye Smith after the Christmas break in the year 1892 and asking him what he intended to call his new game. Nye Smith replied that he hadn't thought of it because he had been focused on just getting the game started. So May has suggested that it can be called as Nye Smith Ball. And Nye Smith disagreed because he think of a name like that would kill any game. So Mayhan then said, why not call it basketball? Nye Smith replied, we have a basket and also ball. Well, it can be a good name for it. So from then on, the game named Basketball. History in the Philippines. Basketball was introduced in the Philippines during the American colonial period with the first American teachers teaching the sport along with baseball through the YMCA and the school system. Basketball was first introduced to the Philippine public school system by the Americans as women's sport in 1910 and was played in interscholastic meet in 1911 until 1913. However, there were challenges as women's basketball meet opposition from the conservative groups, particularly the Catholic Church, who view bloomers worn by women basketball players as inappropriate. By the time, skirts were allowed to be worn above bloomers as a compromise. 
women's basketball was already in decline and was only played in provincial and local interscholastic meets. Essential equipment in basketball game is ball and a court, a flat rectangular surface with basket at opposite ends. Competitive levels require the use of more equipment such as clocks, score sheets, scoreboards, alternating position arrows, and whistle operated stop clock system. In basketball, the basketball court is the playing surface consisting of rectangular floor with basket at each end. In professional or organized basketball, especially when played indoors, it is usually made out of a wood, often maple, and highly polished and completed with a 10-foot rim. Outdoor surfaces are generally made from standard fabric materials such as concrete or asphalt. Basketball courts come in many different sizes. In NBA, the court is 94 by 50 feet. Under International Basketball Federation rules, the court is slightly smaller, measuring 28 by 15 meters. And in amateur basketball, court sizes vary widely. Also, the ball is regulated, the size of the ball. The size of the basketball is also regulated for men and women and different age bracket. For men, the official ball is 29.5 inches in circumference and weighs 22 oz. If women are playing, the official basketball size is 28.5 inches in circumference and weighs 20 oz. The standard basketball rim size is 18 inches and there are two different types of rim. The standard rim and the other is the breakaway rim. You can connect the standard rim to the backboard using screws and conversely, the breakaway rims are compressed with springs. At almost all levels of competition, the top of the rim is exactly 10 feet above the court and 4 feet inside the baseline. But remember, while variation is possible in dimensions of the court and backboard, it is considered important for the basket to be of correct height. A rim that is off by just a few inches can have an adverse effect on shooting. The descriptions of playing positions are flexible. For most teams today, the shooting guard and small forward have very similar responsibilities and are often called wings, as do the power forward and center, who are often called post players. While most teams describe two players as guards, two as forwards, and one as a center on some occasions, teams choose to call them by different designations. Number one, point guard, often called the number one. Usually the fastest player on the team, organizes the team's offense by controlling the ball and making sure that it gets to the right player at the right time. The point guard runs the offense and usually is the team's best dribbler and passer. The point guard defends the opponent's point guard and tries to steal the ball. Shooting guard or number two, creates a high volume of shots on offense, mainly long range, and guards the opponent's best perimeter player on defense. The shooting guard is usually the team's best shooter. The shooting guard can make shots from long distance and also is a good dribbler. Small forward or number three. Often primarily responsible for scoring points via cuts to the basket and dribble penetration. On defense, is he seeks rebounds and seals, but sometimes plays more actively. The small forward plays against small and large players. They room all, all over the court. Small forwards can score from long shots and close ones. The power forward or the four. Plays offensively, often with their back to the basket. On defense, plays under the basket or against opposing power forward during in man-to-man -man defense. The power forward does many of the things a center does, playing near the basket while rebounding and defending taller players, but power forwards also take longer shots than centers. The center or the number five. 
uses height and size to score during offense and protect the basket closely during defense or to rebound. The center is the tallest player on each team playing near the basket. On offense, the center tries to score on close shots and rebound, but on defense, the center tries to block opponents' shots and rebound their misses.